So I'll just run this up onto my emulator, make you all see how it is functioning up. I think I have to use another simulator here because I don't remember the pattern that was made here the last time we worked up. So I'll just start this one up. I'll just create a new here. So I'll just create a new emulator here. Give it an API version here, give it as SD card size, I'll give it 2 GB here. So I'll just create the AVD here. Take some time to get created. I think this seems to be not responding now. All right. I'll just close this up. What I'll do is I'll edit an existing AVD here. I'll give it an API version, say 4.0.3 here. So I'll start a new simulator here. In the meanwhile, the simulator is getting started up. We should also take a look at the activity that we have created another list activity. That is, since I told you we have created two buttons here, right? So the second one, the but second button will be actually calling the ranking class here. Similar to the class that I have created for the country activity here. So here I have created a ranking activity. And what I have done is I have extended the list activity similar to the last activity. Then here I set the list adapter. The list adapter is actually holding the, all the ranks that I have here. Right. Similar to the last activity, I create an on-click listener because this is provided to me by the overridden list, act list activity class here. Take the object out and just pass and return intent and just handle this intent into the calling activity here. Right. If I say rank selection, I check whether the result that was provided to me by the returning activity was okay or not. All right. As it was okay, then what I'll be doing is I'll be just populating the list view here very simple like this. This is just just what I'm doing here. So any persons having any problems with the code that we are, uh, we are covering here, you can write it onto the chat window because I'll be just running it up as soon as the simulator is up. Right? Any, any person having any doubts here? If everything is clear to all, you can just write it onto the chat window that this is clear to everyone. What I'm trying to do here, let me just get this AVD running up onto the window. Yes, that's correct. How do the activities, country and ranking, come back to the calling activity? Is the one that is asked by Farhan here. So Farhan, as I told you, whenever I'm actually doing here, I told you I'm actually calling finish method up here. So what happens in activity stack is that suppose I have an activity that is say if I have the calling activity here for example, all right? So I have a stack of activities here. So I'll just show it to you here. Suppose this is the complete stack that I have. Now what I have is I have the calling activity here, 
all right as soon as i call the country activity it gets on top of the star it gets on top of the star all right here but what I do here is, what I'm doing here is, I'm actually calling finish on this country activity. As soon as I call finish here, the activity that gets back loaded up onto the activity stack is the one that is beneath that. Because all of you might be aware about that a stack is a lost in first out. All right. So since this was the activity that was lost in, it was the activity that got out. So this activity is remaining in the stack. I hope this is clear to you, Farhan. Since I am calling finish on the activity here. The problem is that I'm calling finish on the activity. Since I'm calling finish on the activity, that is the reason why it is actually behaving in this manner. All right. Any any other questions here? So I think the emulator is up now here. So here we'll just run this up onto the emulator here. And let's see. I don't know why this simulator is creating a problem today. Huh? I'll just see what the problem here is because the simulator does not seem to be working up here. Might be some corruption into the SDK components here. Is what I feel here. Let's see if we can try up running another simulator here. Let this load up. All right. So here, what I have done is I'll just show you what exactly I have done. I have created called the activity for result here. So if you all people would have noticed here. Whenever I'll be calling the activities, the second activity that will be actually returning me the result here, I'm actually calling them for result. That is, I want some result out of those activities, right? So this is how I'm actually calling them. Instead of simply start activity, I'm actually calling start activity for result here, right? Then I'm creating the overridden method, which is the on activity result in the calling activity. So in the calling activity, what I'm doing is I'm actually having a result method here, which will be actually handling the result that comes up from the activity that I'm actually asking for the result here. So here I have the various result codes, and I'm taking the result codes on the basis of those result codes. Result codes. I'm doing a switch case. That is, I'm checking whether the result code was result okay on some activity or not, and then I'm taking some actions against it. And here I have to set the result to OK here with the selection stored and the intent. So what I'm doing is whatever was selected in the calling activity, I'm just pulling it into an intent and just setting the result to OK here. So here is an example. If I click on countries here, I get all the countries here. When I'll be clicking on any particular one, it shows me that you have chosen the country which is South Africa, for example. I'll just see if this device gets started up quickly so that I can show it to you. There certainly seems to be some problem with the AVD here, which is not allowing me actually to run the applications onto the AVD. Let me see if we can run this up on this particular emulator here. Right here, I'll just do a run as, because this is actually picking up some wrong emulator here. Yeah, go to the target here. Say choose this one. Apply, run. Let's see if it can run on the same emulator here or not. Right, I think we'll take some time. It, this will take some time. So let's start with the other topic here because we have to cover a lot of topics today. 
I hope the this is all okay with everyone because the emulator is creating a problem today here and I just don't know what the problem is. Let's see if it can get fixed here and then we'll be starting up. All right. I hope this is fine with all. So here I have another example here wherein I'll be actually get getting the image gallery to be shown to the user. So in order to do that, whatever the images are stored, I don't know why the emulator is not coming up. I'll just check. I'll just check. Uh, just uh, wait for a minute here, because I'll just check what is what is the problem here, because the emulator does not seem to be turning up here. Try out running on other few emulators if they can run. Huh? 